How does a person transfer data between a phone and a computer? Of course, by using a USB cable, that's how we're doing it since years. Well, let's try out something new. What if you could wirelessly access all the data that is on your computer hard disk directly on your smartphone without the need of a USB cable? Yup, you get the idea. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer unlimited amount of data from your PC to your phone or tablet wirelessly. And hey, what is up friends, I'm your host HK, welcome to the Android guy. The things that you're going to need for this is a Wi-Fi enabled computer to send data. If you have a laptop, then it's great. If you have a desktop, just make sure that it is Wi-Fi enabled. You will need a smartphone with Wi-Fi hotspot option on it to receive data. Now 95% of modern and older Android devices will have that option. Now since this is a direct method, both internet connection and Wi-Fi router, <laughs> router, same thing, is not necessary. But if you have a wireless router, the method is same. So let's go ahead and set up our device. Simply head over to the Play Store and download a file manager that will allow us to transfer data wirelessly. I recommend the ES File Explorer since a lot of you guys are already familiar with it. If you already have it on your device, just update it. If not, install it directly from here. I'll also leave a link to that down in the description box. Once the installation is done, simply head over to your Android device settings. Open up the More tab under the Wireless and Network settings. Open up the Tethering and Portable Hotspot and tap on the portable Wi-Fi hotspot to activate it which will turn your device into a mini Wi-Fi router. Now if you are doing it for the first time, I recommend you to set up the wireless hotspot. Simply open up set up wireless hotspot option and here you can give a name to your wireless hotspot but most importantly change the security from none to WPA2 or whatever there is and also give a password to your network. Mine is Chao Chao but <laughs> you guys give a strong password. Then hit on save. Wait for a second and your Wi-Fi hotspot should restart with the new settings. You will also see a notification at the top of your device saying that your device is sending wireless data. And with that, our device part is completed. Let's head over to our computer and set that up. Now on the computer side, you will need to connect with the wireless network that you have just created. For that, click on the wireless network icon on the taskbar of your computer and connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that you have just created. Then enter in the password, hit on yes and boom now your Android device and your computer both are connected through the same wireless network. If you have a Wi-Fi router then make sure that your Android device and your computer are connected to the same network. From now on the method is completely same for both Wi-Fi hotspot user and Wi-Fi router user as the goal over here was to connect both of these devices through the same wireless network and I'm pretty much sure you have an idea what we are doing. Not all the data on your computer is shared across the network by default. Rather you get to choose what data you want to share with your device and what not to. In order to share something with your device, as in this case, I'll be sharing my music folder. Right click on the file or the folder that you want to share. Then go to properties. Then click on the sharing tab at the top. Then click the advanced sharing button. And check on share this folder option at the top. Then hit on apply and you're all done. This music folder containing all my songs is now been shared with my Android device. Similarly, I had also shared my D drive, which is my multimedia drive. It includes all my backup movies, pictures, video files, anime, TV show, etc, etc. Now guys, that's about 60 GB of data, which would have been impossible to share with my 10 GB Android device. Now here, I also have a 1080p high definition video, which you guys might be asking why I'm showing you this, but we'll be using that later for demonstration. Wow, that's cool. I really wish I had one of those. It's all done. Let's jump over to our device and check it out. Once your device and your PC are connected through the same network and the data is shared, simply open up ES File Explorer, which we just installed earlier. Then tap on the top left corner and scroll all the way down until you see the LAN options and open it up. Then hit on the scan button, which is somewhere at the bottom and let it scan for connected devices. After the scan is completed, your computer will be shown over here. That's my computer. Of course, your computer will have a different name. 
then tap on the computer icon and then it will ask you for your PC's username and password. Now that's the second layer of security there. Most of you guys will be knowing your username and password but if you don't know your PC's username then you can find it from your computer's login screen as shown in the picture over here. Now that will be your username. It can be the word admin, it can also be your name or mostly it's your email address. But if you can't find it over there, you can also find it from your user account settings in the control panel of your PC as shown in the picture over here. Your username will be in that red highlight shown in the picture over here. Now once you find that, enter that over here. My username is my email ID. Now if you have a password protected PC, enter that over here. If not, just leave it blank. Now you can also check on the remember password option here if you do not want to re-enter your password every time you want to check your data. Now once that's done, hit on OK and boom, there it is. There's all my data that was on my PC is on my palms. Well, it does not remotely looks anything like my PC, but there it is. There's all the drivers that are on my PC with the D drive and the music folder that we just shared. So let's go ahead and check this out. So let's go ahead and check out the D drive first. And uh, yup, there is all the data that was there over here. My music, my video, all the backup and including the video which I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and check out this video over here. You can either stream it directly on your Android device or you can copy it to your device internal memory. That way you're transferring it from your PC to your device wirelessly at high speeds. It's simple copy and paste. You guys know how to do that. Uh, so in order to save time, let's go ahead and stream it directly. You get to choose what video player you want to open it with. Uh, let's select MX player. So there it is guys, that's a complete 1080p video being streamed on my device. Uh, let's increase the brightness a little bit. And as you can see guys, that's a complete HD video being streamed on my device. And again guys, no internet connection is required for this. Same goes for the music. In my music folder, here are all the songs on my PC. You can play it directly or you can copy it to your device internal storage to listen to it or to save it on your device. Now guys, one thing to note that all the folders here with names ending with a dollar symbol are not shared. You'll have to go to your PC and share them manually the way I showed you earlier. But the ones without the dollar letter at the end are shared like the D drive, the user drive and the music folder. Now similarly, not only music and videos, you can also share pictures, full size data, documents, anything that you can use on your Android device can be transferred from your PC to your device. And again, you can also connect multiple devices to a same PC or you can connect multiple PCs to a same device using the same method and you can create this mini home network through which data can be shared back and forth without the use of internet wirelessly. So yep, that's about it. That's the entire video. If you feel this video was interesting and helpful to you in any means, do give it a thumbs up. That'll really help me a lot. And do subscribe for more interesting videos like these if you haven't already. Until then, I'm your host HK from the Android Guy signing out. You guys have a great day. Peace.